All right, let's get it. You guys are back with Armchair Engineer 85. I'll make this short and sweet. We're gonna do a semi unboxing video. Um, I've already unboxed it because I couldn't wait. But anyways, I, I didn't take it very far from the box. So I'm gonna show you guys in real time. Um, but as you guys know, I am a kart racer. Um, I race Briggs LO206. And I've been doing that now for probably the past, uh, I don't know, about six years. Um, and it's always been a mission of mine to move up uh, into a higher class, a faster horsepower class. Um, so I've decided to make the jump this summer. So this is a bit of my summer leading into summer project. I've got a lot of work to do. Um, so I'm gonna be basically, well, I'm just gonna start unboxing here. Uh, so I ordered this from PSL.com, which is out of Quebec. Um, they were really good. I dealt with a guy named Greg and he treated me very well and answered all my questions and I think I got more than a fair deal on this. So we'll, we'll start unboxing this. We will start here with the meat and potatoes of uh, what this is. What it is is it's heavy, so just give me one. Oh, and they packaged it very nice. Um, there was more, it's over on the table there. Um, I just I couldn't fit it back in the box because he did such a good job wrapping it. So I'll just give you guys a little sneak peek here. I'm going to set this on the ground and then I'm going to uh, put it on the table just because it's uh, very, very heavy. All right, this is it. We have a TM R1 uh, Red Titan Edition. That is correct. I have decided to move up to from Briggs LO206 to shifter cart. Um, this is a used motor. Um, you know, I got a better deal on it. Um, now they, they've moved on from the R1 uh, to the Bla uh, R2, the Blackout Edition. Like I said, this is the Red Titan. But this is fully built, rebuilt, so it's kind of, in a lot of ways, almost as good as new. And I got a better price on it. Um, yeah, like I, I know it's a big jump from Briggs LO206, but um, like I always wanted to do shifter cart. The moment that I got into uh, cart racing, I basically, I, I wanted to jump right into shifter cart, but you know, all the things I'd read online and from people, they just said like, you know, it's way too much too soon. Some people do, like a lot of people with motocross experience and they do, you know, all right or fairly well. But they suggested, especially for cost-wise and getting your feet wet, um, just to start in a lower category. And that was a good, uh, that was a good piece of advice. So we got the red engine mount here, which I like because it'll match my chassis. Um, they gave me uh, primary gear here. Uh, they did notify me that there is no oil in this, which is nice. I already knew that uh, going into it, but nice that they tag it there just in case. Nice little uh, safety feature. Um, another thing that I've got here is, I'll just push this engine out of the way. Um, this is, I guess what you could say, my accessory box. So it comes with, I got my silencer here. I didn't bother to, uh, to unwrap it yet, but you obviously you can see your, your exhaust silencer. Um, I've got here, maybe I can unwrap this one. Obviously, my exhaust pipe. Good Lord. Like I said, they wrapped this up really, really well. Yeah, there we go. So this is the this is the expansion pipe right here. As you can see, TM Racing. And it's got the bung in here for the uh, temperature gauge. So um, I did also order, this didn't come with the engine. This was extra. This is a seat mounting kit um, because I want to, I have a seat that I got to remount. So I didn't want to, in the past, I just had spare nuts and bolts and washers, but I really wanted to uh, do an actual good, um, good job at it. So I, I spent about $25 on that. Uh, this is something that I, I asked about, and they told me it didn't come with it, but I guess maybe they threw it in uh, for extra. But it is the uh, radiator, um, uh, cool, like heater hoses, basically. And uh, that's a nice, I figured I was going to have to buy that extra later on. 
um, as I'm just dealing with the engine right now, but uh, I'm pretty happy about that. That saved me a bit of money there. Um, I got here, I already unwrapped it, the carburetor. It is, uh, what make is this? I can't remember, I think it's a, it's a Makuni uh, VHSH30. Uh, uh, this is a spec carburetor that uh, the class I'll be running in is required to use. And I think it's, it's a pretty popular carburetor, even in the rock shifter. So anyways, fully rebuilt, good to go. Looks like it's almost pretty much brand new. It might very well might be. Uh, this is another little kit right here. Comes with the spark plug. Uh, comes with the little uh, ignition boot. A little Y pipe for fuel. And I think this is for the, uh, the shifter uh, where it attaches facing onto the spline. And then I attach the... Um, the rose joint to the actual shift linkage there. Um, now this one here, I this is this is a Makuni uh, fuel pump. This actually didn't come with the shifter cart. I wrote out a list when I looked at the engine, like the picture online, and I noticed that this wasn't featured on it. So I did ask them, and they said it was extra. And I kind of, you know, I spent a, a decent buck. I asked them. I said, like, could you? Cause you throw that in and they were nice enough. They said, yeah, sure. We'll throw it in. Um, it does look used, but I mean, I'm not going to complain cause it came with it. Uh, what do we got here? Okay. Uh, okay. So we got the bolts here and then this is the bottom, uh, bottom plates. Uh, for the engine mount kind of wish they would have been that red. They are official TM I kind of wish they were red to match the uh, the base plate, but whatever you won't really see it. So This is looks like more heater hoses. I think it is. Oh, this is the uh, I Don't know what you want to call it a U pipe a half moon pipe well, that basically goes from your expansion pipe to your silencer and it's got all the springs and everything in it there um so that's it uh, the accessories i'll get this out of the way and i'll give you guys a better quick look at the r1 okay i'm going to take this off the uh actually now okay so yeah it comes with the, the ignition coil here. I've got my two mounts that I'll mount my um, fuel pump up to. Um, I will have to get a water uh, temp sensor, which I'll have to splice into the heater hose. That's not a big deal. Um, they got everything nice and plugged. You can see here they put a plug for the spark plug. Uh, they did put a plug here at the back for the exhaust pipe. And then a plug up here for the carburetor. Um, it's kind of funny, though. They didn't put a plug uh, into here where your uh, water line goes to but oh well and they have already the water pipe here connecting your uh, your crankcase to your cylinder already installed so anyways uh, the tag says new rod and new piston um, and they did tell me that the bottom end was completely done like I said I basically have a brand used brand new engine here so if anybody has any advice, if anybody raises shifter card or specifically races this uh, engine, um, write it down in the comments. I'm, I'm interested because I'm obviously starting out fresh in shifter card and I'm looking to learn uh, everything. Um, I know it's going to be fast. That's what everybody keeps telling me. They said like it's insanely fast. So, you know, hold on. Um, I'm in pretty good physical condition. I work out a lot. Um, so I'm not too worried about being fatigued. Um, you know, that's just the way it is. I'm more kind of concerned with, you know, dealing with the speed and, uh, just, uh, you know, getting, getting accustomed to the speed changes, like basically, you know, the straightaways, how fast the braking zone comes up, you know, even the brake feel, cause now I'll have front brakes. Um, anyways, we'll leave it at that. Thank you guys. Stay tuned. Um, I'm going to be running a build series on my shifter card build. Uh, as well as I'll be continuing, continuing, excuse me, with the Yamaha Banshee uh, build videos. Um, anyways, thank you very much. And there's my little friend waiting right there. All right, guys. Thanks a lot. Have a good one.